And hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogboat 33 and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. With the brand new 0.21 beta, A World of Flame. I think the last time we did Kaiserreich was New England? Let me check the YouTube. It is a nice mini pick. I, 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 Gav. Um, let me check real quick. I think it was New England, I want to say. It's been a while since I played, well, March. Probably February when I finished the stream at, realistically. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while. The new updates come out. Uh, yeah, last time we did uh, New England. Uh, and try to reunite the United States of America under the good old uh, flag. Uh, so, um, we had a good old time together. Um, and I think it's time to hop back in. And I saw a certain country get a new focus tree that looked pretty damn nice. Uh, I only played... I played around a little bit. Like, I launched the game and I saw the focus tree and I thought it was pretty nice. Uh, so we're going to be playing uh, Sardinia. I've played them before. Not on camera, but offline. Mostly kind of messed around and annex stuff. And cheated. Uh, which we probably won't... Uh, we might, might end up having to do anyway, because I know Sardinia is a fair bit hard. Uh, but, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge if we need to. So let's check out Sardinia. Uh, the House of Savoy was shattered by Elizabeth of Veltkrieg, and King Emmanu Victor Emmanuel III held responsible. All is not completely lost monarchy, however. The Savoy Aostas are powerful supporters. The rightful hoarders of Sardinia Piedmont, under their lands on the shores, were until their lands on the shores were swallowed up by the syndicalists. There we go. Now they and what monarchy supporters they can gather hold out on Sardinia, protected by the French Republic, and ready to watch for the opportunity where they, too, can one day return home to s claim their seat of power. There we go. Um, so, we're in a bit of a uh, pricklier si situation. Uh, when you compare it to um, the French, because uh, they at least have Africa, uh, the Brits have Canada, and the rest of the Entente. We just kind of have um, Sardinia, which is nothing against Sardinia, but uh, compare it to Canada or the rest, a little rough. Do I want to do any custom game rules real quick to make it slightly easier? Um, well, we're going to be able to do mess with this all ourselves. Um, kind of political path. I think I'll just make sure that uh, the French don't implode. And anything else I'm good with, honestly. Africa, future of the French exiles. I think that'll be fine. And avoid anything bad. And then we'll just kind of go from there. And see what happens. Don't pussy put chance. Don't pussy put. I don't know what that means. Um, by the way, this is being recorded live on Twitch for all the YouTube people watching at home right now. Um, it's not live on YouTube as well. This is already pre-recorded by the time you're watching this. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, if you're watching at home, hello. Uh, but uh, we can't talk to you right now. And if you hear me talking to other people, it's not just me going crazy. Uh, this is just uh, me playing, uh, talking to my other friends. So, um, mix all possible states as you can. We got it. So let's take a look at Sardinia. We're led by Amadeo I, the Explorer King. For the longest time, Amadeo of Savoy also kept out of national politics. Who would be king wasn't interested in the affairs of state or the day-to-day -day administration of the country. Instead, much like uh, all over Dukes of Aosta, he spent his early years going through a rigorous military education. First in Britain, then in Naples. In 1915, then the then 16-year-old royal joined the army on the Alpine Front as a corporal. 
fought his way into becoming captain. On the end of war, with the end of war, he was initially forced to follow his captain to Ca Cagliari. However, instead of studying the specifics of Sardinia, Amadeo was fascinated by the ancient lands and cultures of Africa. Deeply uninterested by the political affairs of the island, he spent much of the 1920s in the jungles of the Congo, with his uncle, the famous Duke of the Abruzzi, leaving Sardinia in the hands of Marshal Badoglio, and only coming back once the health of his father had begun to falter. Now on the throne, Amadeo remains as brave and as bright as any seasoned explorer, though he retains his aversion to politics. Some say these characteristics are those of a great general, but it's uncertain whether they are those of a great king. <clears throat> Uh, we have support from the autonomous national spirit. Only national spirit we have, which, not bad, not the best. Sardinia relies extensively on their fellow governments in exile to prop up their government. Friends in Ottawa and Algiers have generously provided us with subsidies for our military, and in return we will need to pay our part in liberating our homelands from socialist rule. Fair enough. We're led by the Padots, the Governo, Ardanzalu. It's 42% popularity. Um, so let's take a look at our focus tree. Which we have a nice new focus tree, I gotta say. Much better than the old Italian one. Or the old Sardinian one. I think we'll start with the, uh... Finishing the Diga de Sante Chiara. Uh, by the way, before I continue more, I'm not Italian. I don't speak a lick of it. I took Spanish for four years, and so I'm gonna assume it's vaguely similar to that. Because we're in the same language family. So if I butcher these pronunciations, I do apologize at a time. Uh, so, the Diga de Santa Chiara was started all the way back in 1918 to provide Sardinia with the necessary electricity to power its industry. The Italian Civil War and the subsequent secession of Sardinia from the Italian Federation have seriously hampered funding. Furthermore, without the access to the wider Italian economy, the cost of finishing the project dramatically increased. Eighteen years later, the dam is finally near its completion with only the protective layer missing. Well, there we go. We'll get some industry finished up, uh, boost industry, once we finish that. So I'll do some engineering in the time between now and then. And I'll actually wait until... Please try to do American Italian accent and I will donate. You want me to do the accent? You want me to do an accent? Mamma mia. This is even more offensive. I sound like Tony Soprano. Okay, we have... We have a whole of one division. Miada. We have Amadeo de Fust. And uh, Pietro Badoglio. We'll go with Amadeo. And then for Generales, we'll go, uh... Uh... We'll go with Giuseppe. Giuseppe Cordero Lanza di Montezemolo. Just to your bitch. Mr. Boeing Boeing. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the, uh... A comment. This is fucking horrible. I am sorry. Uh, thank, uh, thank you for the follow, Mr. Boeing Boeing. I appreciate it. Um, how are our divisions looking there? Not the best. We also have no manpower right now, so that's also not good. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead, um, get it, uh, end of names going. I know it's not good. Uh, I'm doing it for money. What do you want? This is truly riveting gameplay so far. The Kingdom of Sardinia was born amidst at the ashes of Bell Creek. King Vittorio Emmanuel signed an armistice for the Austrian government in 1919, but fierce socialist, radical nationalists, and other rabble rose up against his government. In a son abdicated in Sardinia, marked by few, King Emmanuel Filiberto... <laughs> Foxen, thank you for the resub. Mr. Dogbo's low to save from Italy... Please have a legion of Arditi meat named after me in some way. I will do that once I finish this, sir. I promise you that. Now, let's see. Seems... However, our pretensions of the Italian throne came to an in 1920 when the Austrians forced the Italian Federation onto unified white forces in mainland Italy. British forces joined the Federation as the Austrians demanded, unwilling to anger the Germans in the aftermath of the most destructive war in European history. Withdrew from the Italian Federation in 26 after the British Empire collapsed, and the Austrians withdrew from Italy to deal with eternal affairs. Though our Entente allies still dissuade from claiming all of Italy under Piedmont is reclaimed. This made us a nominally independent nation, although in reality we are almost a puppet state of the French Republic. This somber state of affairs is made no better by internal divisions at home. King Amadeo replaced his father, Emmanuel Filiberto, as King of Sardinia just five years ago, and remains uninterested in the affairs of a state, disappointing both 
the Democrats hoping for royal invention in favor of democratic reform, and the military wanting to take full control over clans of Red Venice. This fundamental question between authoritarianism and constitutionalism has divided the island since the end of the Velt Creek. There's little doubt that the current arrangement is simply untenable. The 15-year-old old state of emergency has grown tiresome to the Sardinian people, government corruption runs rampant, and judiciary and government both require reforms. There are problem, these are problems without solutions under current political deadlock, and without solving that and them, Sardinia will never be able to take back what is rightfully hers. Long live the king. Okay, so, uh, shall rename a, a uh, how do I rename a division? Fox and thousand bits, I prove the accent try. Thank you, I appreciate that, Fox and How the hell do I rename a division? I've not done it in so long, I honestly don't know. Uh but you know, we'll worry about that uh more when we need to. Uh or whenever someone tells me how to do it, really. We got an engineer, trait we can give this guy. But yeah, thank you for that thousand bits. Uh, I'll, I'll take the humiliation and turn for money. I, uh, I'm not picky. The total is charter. Very nice. Eddie's been elected. Let me check out Ethiopia's real tree, because I guess it did get a new, uh... It looks more or less the same, but, uh... Holy shit, Foxen! Thank you for the two gifted subs, man! I appreciate that, I really do. Um, does anyone else want to, uh, contribute to the hype train? Some oil money for a chance. Thank you, thank you, Foxen. I really do appreciate that. I really do. Afghanistan versus the Dominion. We need you, Chris. Um, Niche, that's you, right? Just, uh, because I think that's you. Oh, that was Kev! Shit, uh, Kev, thank you for the gift subs. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I misread that. I was so excited, I'm, I, I, and I'm already so thankful for you. That, that was my bad. Thank you, Kev, though. Thank you for the gifted subs. It's a little awkward. Um... Uh, Manor I'm streams, thank you so much. Uh, what do we want to do now? Um, we do need manpower. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Uh, let's go with Floral Minister Dinia, because we need the manpower. Salvation will not come for those who wait. Is a plan plain to all that a great struggle is approaching. One that can only be one of the brave loyal ones start any ratification. These are times they are all we have. Austrian Empire withdrawals from Italy. Fair enough. It's not my proudest moment. We will join in the war in Afghanistan. Not that we can do much anyway. Just forgot my password to the other accounts. Fair enough. Click on where you see what the division formation. Oh. The Divisione Filippa. How do you like that? <clears throat> After Black Monday, the many foreign companies controlling the coal mines in southern Sardinia finally collapsed. Mostly British-backed monopolies had already been ailing for years, and it appears the German economic crisis was the last straw. These mines have never really been profitable, but they are an important source of jobs in an otherwise stagnant and poor region. However, the foreign owners of these companies have often ignored the most basic issues of local workers. This has often resulted in protests and strikes that were requested with great severity. In 1904, one such strike led to the Bugrero Massacre, which was widely condemned by the socialist forces. In order to preserve the mines, the Bardenzelu government has proceeded with a nationalism, nationalization of the bankrupt companies. Uh, however, this mo move blew back severely, as the already striking workers began organizing in unions in order to obtain various concessions of state. Is a revolution coming? Why Italy region? Uh, Sardinia just got a new focus stream, Kaiserreich. And uh, it looks pretty nice. So I wanted to give it a shot. So yeah. 
How do you play this game? I have it, I just can't finish the tutorial. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not a very good, um... Two subs for two division names, one's called Tiny Debris. <laughs> uh, send that to me in a DM. Uh, just cause I might for I might forget that. I don't know how I'll forget that. But I just to, uh, me the female vision in my name. Can't change it. Keep, <laughs> keep the idea of a sexy, of a sexy idea of a female fox in your mind. You got it, sir. Jesus, there's a lot of shit going on. Who's in Russia, by the way? Savinkov? Let me check. Um, looks like they're going Romanov. Whatever that takes exactly, I'm not quite sure. Um, Padots in Mexico. Looks like we have the, uh, Reds. Or potential Reds in Tibet. Which is interesting. Um... What do we want to do? Hmm. I swear to God, my Wi Fi is so bad. Ooh, that sucks. I'm sorry. So, Raven. Aristocratic Russia. Probably in Russia, but we can get. Li li I know. We can, we can potentially. To keep on leaving, rejoining the stream. Oof, I am sorry to hear that. We have the institutional crisis finally, so we can work on that. Um, let's do that real quick. The miners' crisis has proven fatal of stability. The already weak part-time Zelu government. The balance between exiles and parliament broke, and a solution for governability appears impossible. In spite of Yamadeo's wishes, a real invention in extra, par extra parliamentary cabinet may be on the horizon. Chad and me are true. Um. Whenever I play Thousand Week Reich again, might be on stream, might not be. I am probably going to do uh, the Vladimir path on, um, for Russia. Uh, but you have to branch out from, uh, Because this is our choice. It's between Madras, or Maras, and, uh, Bagudilo, I believe. So this is for the more uh, Padot path, it would seem. It looks like we get pretty decent bonuses regardless. It looks like more or less the same, actually. Um. Yeah. Thousand Week Reich Lad isn't so wholesome. Can you zoom in and... Watching the TV and it's still small. Um... Let's go Democratic. I was thinking that anyway. Um, I might have to go ahead and up the, um... The zoom. Which I think I might have to restart, unfortunately, for that. Uh, but let, I'll read it out for you anyway. Between 1919 and the death of Emmanuel Philibert in 31, Sardinia was ruled by a string of military governments with heavy role involvement, culminating the Bagodilo dictatorship between 26 and 31. Following ascension, King Amadeo was instead taken a more parliamentary position, appointing a successful succession of civilian prime ministers to govern with the support of the main Sardinian parties, hoping they would be able to deal with the current dire situation. Nevertheless, even the civilian governments have used a 15-year-old state of emergency rule with a relatively heavy hand. With unrest among the ministers of Southern Sardinia growing, one of these civilian prime ministers, war veteran Giorgio Bardanzelli, has recently resigned. The king initially rejected his resignation, but without the cooperation of the prime minister, no viable governing solutions could be found. Given the frequency of resignations from premiership and the associated reputational damage, all civilian candidates have refused any offers to become prime minister, with many asking the king to appoint a military-led national government. As such, and in spite of his own wishes, the king will be forced to intervene directly, putting in his hands at the ultimate fate of Sardinia. As many military cliques start pushing for power, many expect Marshal Bagudillo to return to government, though memory of his lack of leadership has led others to propose politically much weaker and, quite importantly, Sardinian-born General Morass is another rival candidate. 
appointing the autocratically minded Marshal Bagudio to once again lead the government will put us on a path towards a technocratic military dictatorship bent on destroying the Social Republic and restoring His Majesty's rightful world to the mainland. The Marshal was, and likely will be, much more of a strong man than Barnzello ever was, and the monarchy might be directed to reassert its influence over the executive. Pet the pupper. Let me grab a shirt real quick. Let me try to read from here. Appointing the relatively apolitical General Morast to lead the executive, the fresh executive, will instead increase the influence of the various reformists. We'll certainly use the opposition of a completely weak technocrat as a tool to push for further democratization. Perhaps this is what the king intends to happen, or perhaps this is a move to increase his influence to the expense of the military clique that has, since the end of the war, become the main threat to the king's great influence in national politics. Uh, we shall appoint... I think General Morass is the bet, so we'll go ahead and do that. The gov so we are now the Governor Morass. 100 chunk of Sardinia. Potentially, hopefully. We can hope. Famine big breaks out in Sichuan. Sichuan. It's not, not nice. Get mechanical computing going. So how do you play thou uh, Hearts of Iron? I'll try to explain it as I go along. I'm really not the best person to ask this because I don't really have a good grasp of the game. Ooh. Republic of Iran? That's interesting. Is that... That's Sochtem. Okay. Right. Looks like they want Republican. We have this shit, which I don't understand how it works. Hmm. We'll probably do, uh, we'll get Paulo Berardi uh, for, for Army Logistics. I don't quite know what we need to do, but I do know that's going to be um, a pretty good one. Uh, you went, yeah, I did, Fox, and I did. Playing Gorge 4 is easy, you just got to be overwhelmingly racist. <laughs> True. Wait, what? I didn't say that out loud. Anyhow, um... I should clarify officially that is a joke. Um... Uh, we'll enter the state of siege. Since 1919, Sardinia has been governed without the consensus of an elected parliament. With successive governments relying on increasingly authoritarian temporary emergency measures, we will not stand if we are to regain the trust of our people. A rapid transition back to democracy must be undertaken. Expert is level 6. If you get that due to level 8, you get a bigger bonus. Okay. Good to know. Also, in the future, seven comes become the Russian... Mix of Mussolini and Hitler when Ireland is more left nationalist than right. I forget exactly. Maybe, yeah. I remember seeing the uh, Russia rework. How they're going to start off with Savinkov, and then uh, if he holds power, he does the whole Russian state thing, and if someone else takes power, then, you know. Not necessarily a given. Um. Got to love very prominent temporary powers. True that. You gotta love them. Thank God I'm Ukrainian. Hell time racist by American standards, not Slavic. Um. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that we got to to the topic of racism in Hoi 4. Let's try to steer away from it, though. Um. Let's go work on basic machine tools. And then construction. With the agricultural economist, I'm a sucker for that, but we need off them Padot or Nat Pop. Hmm. 
got a lot new. I think that one of the big updates of Kaiserreich was a rework to advisors, I want to say. But we'll do early mobilization right now, just because that's always a decent one. I'm the only dude for Russia in my heart, and old times he could be all the governed by himself. True. No. Oh, no, we're not stopping. We're not starting that, Nietzsche. We're not getting into that. Although some Bluglin out... Analysts expect this development, many were still surprised when Governor Morales announced today that the state of siege is to be lifted. Despite his relative political weakness, a lot of disillusioned Sardines were expecting return to dictatorship as news of the appointment of a commissioned officer as prime minister broke out. Instead of the first true step towards the restoration of was taken, as the government announced its emergency powers had been granted almost two decades ago. While no elections are scheduled yet, Morales has indicated that they're going to be called soon. So we're now off Dems. Uh, the paternal lots are now the Blanco Nacional, and we have a huge hit uh, to uh, war support. Formerly led by Marshal Baguio, could have a spear of it within the Royal Army has stayed in an unofficial campaign of opposition against Morass's reformist executive. Though powerful, they won't try to outright subvert outright subversive actions as long as the king supports us. However, they will remain a thorn in our side. We'll shoot. Well, that's not nice. Hmm. I guess we gotta do this and then get working on that. While many... While we may have the blessing of the king in governing the nation, many still oppose our role. Unfortunately, to ensure the stability of the kingdom, strong methods will have to be used. Don't talk about stuff. We are white and exotic. We are exotic in the U.S. and Europe. Yeah, let's talk about other stuff. How's your guys' uh, week been so far? Uh, it's only Monday, so it's a bit of a uh, newer week, but how is it? Let's try to get our usual... Let's get working towards our usual uh, 20 wits. So get some halfway decent divisions going. Got bombed by Russian bomb. Almost died. Oh shit! The routine. Now I mean, it's Tuesday. I'm a time traveler. Kudatan Siam. Fall of the Kingdom of Finland. Is that the Lapua movement? Yep. Yeah. Nat pop. Don't like to see it, but... Huh. Oh, shit. It's heavy. Russian bombings. Death in the family. Living in Northern Ireland. It, it's rough in chat. I'm sorry, boys. Um, anyway. Uh, we're gonna end the video off here, so I'm gonna say goodbye to the YouTube people real quick. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks as always for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of this content in the future, hit the sub button for uploads every weekday, plus occasionally Saturdays. If you have any comments, feedback, concern, even sort, leave in the comment section below. I read all the comments again, appreciate any all feedback you might have for me. If you want to chat, play games, anything sort, uh, check out my uh, Discord. If you want to send a few bucks my way, I have a Patreon. If you want to see me do sort of life, I have a Twitch. If you want to see me do uh, not not in gaming related stuff, I have a second channel. I'll put in the description box below. That's really it for now, ladies and gentlemen. My name has been Mr. Dogwood 333. I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.